Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Justin, and today we're going to be covering a wide variety of events that have occurred in the Sports Business Journal. One of the articles in the Sports Business Journals talked about Kellogg's announcing four athletes for its marketing team for the 2018 Pyeong Chang Games. Those athletes include figure skater Nathan Chen, gold medal winning snowboarder Kelly Clark, women's hockey player Megan Duggan, and Paralympic snowboarder Mike Schultz. So this was a big event because it's showing a lot of diversity in Kellogg, a major company, being willing to reach out and use not just name brand athletes such as LeBron James, Steph Curry, or trying to find an NHL athlete to be one of their covers, so to say. Um, they're not going to be running ads during the Olympics, and they're going to be basically just rushing the market before the games to try to get their name out. And by doing this, they're going to save money in the marketing area because the advertisement prices during the Olympics drastically increase. At the start of my performance, I have to block everything out. I have to focus on my one goal of making the Olympic team. And there's a lot of small goals that I have to obtain before I'm able to reach that big goal. But as I've grown older, I've come to understand that these are things that push me to where my dreams are and to accomplish those dreams, standing on top of that podium at the Olympics. The biggest thing I do when I get on the ice, deep breath and think about my team. It's a really special group. And so when I wake up in the morning, I think about that group. We all have our minds set on this ultimate goal that we want to achieve. Having the opportunity to work together with 22 other women that are as strong and passionate as I am, it's incredibly unique. and wouldn't have it any other way. I look at the opportunities that I have, but not only do I get to go after my dreams, but I get to inspire others. And I want to make sure that I've got something more than just medals to show for it. I want a culture and a sport and a people group that is better because I was a part of it. That's really what gets me started. My family is totally part of my racing program. It's kind of neat, it's been a tradition while I'm competing. You know, she'll always do the going for gold nail polish. Yeah, that's really good. How come you like this color? Because it's going for gold. Life is, it's about perspective. I choose to look at things as a challenge and not a problem. To be on top of that podium at the Olympic Games, to make that a reality will just be unbelievable. talks about the USA Gymnastics is in need of a complete culture change to protect young gymnasts from sexual abuse. Carrie Perry, formerly a vice president at sports marketing company Blairfield Communications, will become president and CEO of USA Gymnastics. She will take over in December 1st and will be the Indianapolis-based national governing body's first female CEO in almost 20 years. The position has been vacant since March, when former President Steve Penny resigned in the aftermath of an Indy Star investigation into how USA Gymnastics handled allegations of sexual abuse. Even though Perry doesn't have a gymnastics background, she said that her main priority is in line with the governing body's renewed emphasis on the protection of more than 150,000 members the vast majority of children at 3,500 clubs in the country. So in other news in the Sports Business Journal, the football club Kansas City and the Major League Women's Soccer is currently being sold. The team that is purchasing them is the owners of Real Salt Lake and the MLS. They're trying to generate more revenue for their current program 
And by bringing in another team, it'll really help the advertising now that they have both a men's and women's soccer program. That way they can advertise to all people and not just for male soccer. Uh, the owners have announced that they're going to try to keep the ticket prices as low as possible, and they're going to do this by keeping the players' salaries at a lower rate than normal. And due to this, they're going to be able to keep the merchandising, the ticket sales, and all of the vendors inside of the arena at a more affordable cost for a family. The Kansas City Football Club is leaving the area. It's provided the opportunity for the U.S. soccer team to go in and build a brand new state-of-the-art 80,000 square foot building, which is costing approximately $80 million. This building will be both publicly and privately run, so youth soccer programs will be able to go in and rent the space and be able to train like a professional and it'll help grow the sport in the youth. So over this past off season for the NBA, the Toronto Raptors had numerous positions that they had to fill within their organization. And according to the team owner, it was just by coincidence, but all of the positions were filled by women. And now if you ask anybody within the organization, players, owners, or just general staff, they'll tell you that things seem to be operating more smoothly, more effectively, and in general, they're happy that they hired all women. And this just goes to show that women do have a significant role to play in the sports world. long-term commitment with the Stonewall but more than the organization they have made a commitment with the entire LGBT community in the entire world. The Premier League has made a commitment to protect the LGBT community in all areas including online, in the stadium and in the media that surrounds the sport. This partnership will definitely create ripples in the, U in the UK especially with the fans and other similar organizations. The Premier League has spoken out saying that this partnership with the Stonewall organization has the purpose of supporting the LGBT community involved with the league including staff, players, fans and administration. <clears throat> it is not very common in the sporting world for an organization this big to have such a spoken relationship with this kind of organization. This is considered a large milestone in the world of soccer and sports in general. The Premier League has just signed a three-year partnership with the Stonewall charity that supports the LGBT community in the world. The Premier League is the most prominent soccer league in the United Kingdom and a, and a partnership like this one sets precedence for other soccer leagues and sports organizations in the world. <laughs> 